I have reviewed blind spot monitoring ambient light systems for Tesla before, but this one is the latest version from Test Studio, packed with even more updated features. In this video, I'm going to show you guys all the features. So this isn't just about adding pretty lights, it's about blending safety with style. The blind spot monitor ambient light system came in this box. Here is the warranty and support. They have included a pry tool and a tape. So here is the ambient light strip. There is a plug at the end of the light strip. So here is the cable harness. The control module is already connected to the cable harness. And here is the USB-C cord. It's super easy installation. First, I'm going to remove the side panel on the passenger side. So use the pry tool and remove it. Next, take the door seal off and then remove this panel. Keep everything aside. So there are two clips. So using the pry tool, remove those clips. And here is the cable harness. We are going to connect the ODB pass through to the ODB port. So this one, the blue one, so that's the ODB port. So connect this one to the ODB port like this. You will hear a click. So there is an extra female port as well. If you want to connect any other devices, you can connect over here. So next, let's make the power connection. Here is the power plug. Remove that and then take the pass through for the power on the cable harness. So this plug, so this has to be connected over here. To the other end, let's connect the plug that we removed earlier. So this one, so make that connection. Heard the click, that's good. So here's the control module. This is already connected to the cable harness and here is the USB-C cable. So connect it to the control module. Other end of the USB-C cable, here's a plug. This has to be connected to the ambient light strip. So I'm going to do that in a bit. Before that, I'm going to remove this dashboard. So for that, I have to also remove the panel from the other side. And then I'm going to remove the dashboard. Here's where we're going to keep the light strip. So above the dashboard, there is a groove. Look at this. So lift that panel and you will be able to see. And we don't have to use a tape. We can just tuck in the light strip. I'm going to show it to you guys how to do it even though a tape was included in the box we don't have to use the tape we can keep the light strip without the tape so use your finger and here is a hack so what we did is we used a flathead screwdriver so this will give a leverage like this so you can see that groove and then tuck in the light strip into that groove I took this video after everything was connected that's why the light is on after you keep the light strip, the remaining cable, feed it like this through the sides and tuck it in. And end of the light strip, here is the plug. So this plug has to be connected to the plug that's on the end of the USB-C cable. So we have connected everything. Now the light will be turned on. Look at this. So the light is working perfectly. Now we can tuck in all the cables and put everything back, all the panels. So put the clips and then this uh, door panel. Next, keeping this panel. So next we are gonna keep the carbon fiber dashboard. This is our absolute favorite dashboard. Keeping this triangle side panel and finally keep the door seal back. This is not just a basic RGB light strip. This one uses hundreds of RGB LEDs that are individually controlled. First feature is the welcome mode. So the light show activates when the door is unlocked and opened. To change the colors, first we have to put the vehicle in park. We have to scroll up the right scroll wheel to cycle through different colors and modes. So each scroll up, as you can see, the ambient light color is changing so it has RGB color effect so keep scrolling and the light color will change when you see the color that you like stop scrolling right there and that will be the set color of the light there are two sports mode here's the sports mode one the lights will respond to your throttle input so here's a red light on the middle so when you step on the accelerator the red light will extend look at this and when you take your foot off the pedal, the lights will return back just to the middle. So this will give you a dynamic visual link to your driving. This is how it looks like while driving. Here is the sports mode too. So this is also linked to the throttle. So when you step on the accelerator, the color will be deep red 
and when you step off the pedal it will change to orange color we can also increase or reduce the brightness of the light so this follows tesla screen brightness setting so click on display and if you keep the brightness to zero percent the brightness of the light will be reduced and if you uh, scroll to 100% look at this the brightness of the light has increased it has a turn signal alert for this to work doors need to be closed so I just activated the right turn signal and green light will flash on the right side so I'm gonna activate the left side signal and look at this green light is flashing on the left side so the light will flash only on the end of the light strip while driving, when the autopilot is turned on, rainbow effect will appear on both sides. It's only on the ends when the autopilot is active. So look at this. Here is the rainbow effect. When the battery preconditioning happens, three red dots will appear in front of the driver. So look at this. So here are the three red dots. Here's how the blind spot alert looks like. So a car is approaching from the left lane, orange red color will appear towards the end. So this one, and when the car goes away, it will disappear. Now, when you put the turn signal, when a vehicle is approaching, so red light will be flashing like this. And when the vehicle goes away, it will change to green light flashing. So this is for the turn signal alert. Here's an added feature, over speed alert. If you're speeding 20% over the speed limit, red light will flash on the driver's side. So here's how it looks like. It will only flash for a few seconds. So this is a really cool driving assistant. Here is the door open warning. When you open your door, the lights on that side will flash. So the light will appear only on the edge. So I'm going to open the driver side door. So look at this red light appeared on the left side. And if I open the left back door, red light will appear on the left side. Here is yet another added feature. We can completely turn off the ambient light. So just double click the right scroll wheel on the steering wheel and the light will be turned off. Now the light is off. To turn on the light, just scroll up the scroll wheel and the light will be turned on. Look at this. During daytime, here's how the light looks like. It's very subtle. However, the turn signal alert, the flashing green light, that will be visible. And also the blind spot monitoring red flashing light. At nighttime, the light is quite bright. You can also reduce the brightness. If you're driving at night and don't want the entire ambient light strip glowing, you can go with the sports mode one. So in this mode, only a single red light bar appears in the middle, giving you a clean, minimal look. And the best part, you will still get all the safety alerts in this mode, like the turn signal alert, blind spot monitoring, and overspeed alerts. To sum it up, this ambient light system makes your Tesla safer with visual alerts, more fun with mode linked lighting and stylish all without affecting your car's original design. So I highly recommend this latest ambient light system from Test Studio. I'll share the link to buy in the description below. Check that out. Use my code TAS, THAS and you will be able to save 27% on all products. So enjoy the discount. That's a wrap guys. If you like this review, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll be back with more Tesla accessory review videos. Until then, take care everyone and bye.